Hey guys, so I've got something to show you. It is this. It's not very impressive. <laughs> it is my new ESP8266 interface board. Uh, so it's an AT Mega 328. It's essentially uh, an Arduino Uno clone uh, with a space to pop the ESP8266 on there. Now it's, uh, it's currently running a really simple sketch that just picks up the time and the weather. Um, but eventually it'll have something a little bit more complicated on there. Now you'll notice there are no buttons like on the last one. There've, there are some pins for the buttons to go onto. The idea is this would go in some kind of case or something. So what we've got is a beefy 7805 voltage regulator, which isn't being used at the moment because I've plugged it in via USB. It's got a very good 3.3 volt regulator on there, which it needs because the, the ESP8266 can draw over 100 milliamps, more than that, like pushing 200. So it needs a good power supply. It's getting all the current it needs from the USB at the moment, um, which has got a little LED to show that there's power going to the board. Uh, and that's about it. Oh yeah, no, we have a screen as well. I've forgotten about that. This one's um, just an I2C or I squared C, whatever people like to say, uh, display. And I've got a couple of pins coming off the board for that. So really, this is sort of a final prototype. I mean, it's a bit crappy. There's some bodge wires on there. Uh, but what I'll do is I'll, I'll finish up the schematic so that it doesn't have bodge stuff in there. And I'll make it available for people to download if they want to get it printed themselves. But it's a really simple one to solder. It's all almost all through hole. The 3.3 volt regulator is an SMD one. But it, it's working very well. I'm very impressed with it. It did take all morning. It's now about four o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, and I think I got it working at about two in the afternoon. Turns out my reset pin, I'd done something, I tried to do something clever and I attached it to one of the 80 mega 328 pins so that um, I could do a hardware reset rather than have a button or something like that. So I can programmatically change it. But I'd forgotten I'd designed it that way. So I was trying to run this thing and the output on pin eight was low so that it it was being just constantly reset so it didn't work at all it didn't respond um, but it did give me time to find out why I've got to have all these bodge wires and some of that's because um, I wired up the ESP8266 to the hardware uh, TX and RX lines which isn't something I wanted to do because I still want to be able to debug so I've got hardware RX and TX I've also got the reset pin for the AT Mega 328 broken out so I can program and debug. So it's pretty good. I'll, um, I say it's pretty good. That's arrogant, isn't it? Whatever. I'll, I'll put the, uh, the basic code up in, um, my GitHub. Uh, there'll be a link in the bottom. And, uh, once I've finalized the schematics, I'll also throw those up onto the GitHub as well. So you can pick them up. All right. Thanks a lot.